Well, folks, if you're feeling a little confused about Bitcoin and the crypto markets right now, whether it is going to go up or down, you are not alone as the whole market is very confused right now. However, there are some signs that lean toward a possible uptrend, but there are also some signs looking like we are headed toward a crypto bear market. So today we're going to look at the evidence behind these two theories, see which one has the more probability of playing out, and discuss about adjusting our trading and investment strategies over the next few months. So in essence, we got to figure out if it is time to put on our bear ears and get, I don't want to be a bear, but I may have to be a bear. Let's talk about it. Road Dog Crypto. Well, welcome to Road Dog Crypto. My name is Lane and I am here to help guide you through this mess that we're in and help you to make some better choices as far as your investment and trading decisions in crypto and Bitcoin. Hopefully what I can share with you can give you some confidence to your own thoughts and ideas about what's going on. And then you can make an educated decision about how to play things out over the next few months. So of course, the first thing we're going to look at is Bitcoin. I'm going to look at Bitcoin on the weekly because this determines where overall crypto is headed. The decision on whether to get in or get out of all coin positions depends on Bitcoin and the Bitcoin dominance levels. So we're going to be taking a look at that right now. And if you will look at my green arrow over here, we can see this was our weekly close here, about just a little over 31,000, which is above the low that we had over here, about 28,800. That's promising. We had a very strong wick, and that's promising. That's giving some people some hope that we may have a chance to go upward. We are in a bullish position, this downward channel, which does have a chance to break up, so there's some bullish cinema that's still out there, but our question is, is it strong enough to hold? This is our new weekly candle, which has us down to just right under 30,000 at the moment. Now, let me point this out because this is one of the biggest things that is making me think that we are headed toward a crypto winner. This is Ichimoku indicator over here showing this red and how it's starting to dip down here. And this is over in the October period. When Bitcoin is going bullish, it will break up through red, usually at a much thicker area than this. It'll have to get above this, and then it will be riding above the green in a bullish trend. And at the moment, I honestly do not see any sign of that. So that has really got me on my toes for a crypto market comment. In a nutshell, we are either looking at this being an accumulation, something that I have mentioned in my past videos with looking for a possible spring on a Wycliffe accumulation. If you watch some of my past videos, you know I had a theory about a possible humongous Wyckoff accumulation event where the institutional investors are able to manipulate prices and get in at the best deals. If we look at the big picture, we have an all-time high right over here. We came down, we made a low. We went up and made a higher high. A lot of people are calling this a double top. However, a double top is usually to the same price or to a lower point. When you actually make a higher high, that just confirms that you are still in a bull trend. So that's one confusing piece of information that we have to look at right now because we made a higher high, we came down, we made a higher low, we came up, and then we finished this leg. So technically we made a lower low. The lower low is a signal that we're turning bearish and that we're going into a bear market. But this part up here where we made a higher high, that's what's giving me one sliver of hopium for the accumulation theory that this was a Wyckoff spring that could bounce up, do a bump and run, and then it can continue on up, giving validation to a Bitcoin super cycle. The biggest thing that we need to look for to see if this validates is that this should not take a long time to do. If this is actually going to be a spring, by next week, we should be out of this. We should be up around at least about 32,000 and breaking back into this trend line. If we're not seeing that, then I don't have much hope for the Wyckoff accumulation theory. And then I would be putting more weight into the upcoming crypto bear market theory. But in short, it is positive that we did close our weekly above this level. So that's just one thing I would point out to you for something to look at. Now we're going to switch over to the daily just so we can get a little bit more information. And I also want to point this out on the daily. This is showing that we're getting a little widening here. Our two possibilities of what could happen at this particular point is that we bounce off of this area here, which was a trend line connecting from these points, and we had to get bounced. Now we got two scenarios that could play out here. And that would be that we just kind of go sideways, then we come down and test this area. And I've got a date somewhere around June 2nd to reach the low 
and make like a possible double bottom here around the 27,000 area. And from there, we can come up and retest this line. At that point, one of two things will happen. We will either show an enormous sign of strength and break up into this trend line and work on gradually working our way up, or we will get rejected and come down and start making lower lows. That's the most probable scenario that I see coming in the immediate future. One other option that we could do is just continue up to this trend line immediately and then make a decision, are we going to break back in or are we going to get rejected? Any rejection off of this trend line indicates that we are confirming our bear market. If that happens in either of those scenarios where we're bouncing off of that red trend line there, it's time to switch to a bear strategy. So over the coming weeks, this is what we need to be looking for for Bitcoin. Now let's pull up our indicators and see what our indicators are saying. Indicators are saying that we are very oversold right now. We have an RSI on the daily at 26.66. Anything under 30 means that we are undersold. And hence that we might get a bump up. Our MACD levels here are getting ready, it seems, a possible bullish cross. Our MACD wave here is also getting lighter and edging toward making a cross over the zero point line. Not having yet, not confirmed, but it is pointing in that direction. However, our stochastic RSI, as shown here on Market Cipher, this area right here, is starting to go up just a little bit. So we'll start seeing a little resistance, maybe some slowing down about how fast that we're going up and we may have to go sideways just a little bit. We may have to wait for this to cool off before we can get bump up. But overall, it looks like we are headed back to test this trend line. Right here will be the breaking point. It's right around 35,000, 35,000 and a half. If we get rejected off that level, it would be time to make some serious considerations if you're holding off ones as to whether you need to hold them or not. And one other thing I want to quickly throw in, guys, if we take a Fibonacci down from this low here, about 26, 8, where we, where we bottom out there, go to the top of this run, we can see that the 618 area comes up to 31.844. And I'm just letting you know that that is probably going to be a short target for a lot of people, a lot of the bears who are going to sell short. So we may see a turn down around 31.884 and also taking it up to this main level here. This has the most confidence. When we do retest this line, 35,000, at that 618 Fibonacci, this is where your seasoned traders, your seasoned shorters, your seasoned bears like to short at the 618 level. So just giving you a heads up on that. When we get up here and a little bit before, I expect some huge sell pressure to follow Bitcoin and take us down. All right, taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance on the daily, you see that we got that pump up. And when Bitcoin dominance pumps up, the altcoins will suffer. If Bitcoin dominance gets rejected off of this and makes another leg lower, we could see some promise for altcoins and prices going up at least temporarily. At this point in time, for myself, I am not opening new altcoin positions. The only thing that I am going in heavy on is just dollar cost averaging on Bitcoin, trying to catch it on its lows. Now, my personal strategy is to accumulate Bitcoin. So I don't trade Bitcoin. I accumulate Bitcoin. I try to find the best prices to get in on it. But my trading on Bitcoin is very minimal. Now, there is evidence that we may get a rejection here and come down as, as our indicators on the daily for Bitcoin dominance. They are kind of overheated at the moment. But given the overall structure, this is actually a bullish position. If you're asking me, it looks like Bitcoin dominance is about to go up over the next few months. We also need to consider the DXY, which I'm bringing up here. The dollar is going very well. Now, I've got some resistance up here around the 105 area. It may get a slight pull back, but it looks like we're going to keep continuing up to the 107 mark. And if we zoom out, say, to the weekly, there's a possibility that the dollar may just pull off a miracle as we have got this cup and handle formation here, and it may drive it up to prices where we have to zoom out even more to the monthly to where we'll be hitting areas that we have not seen since 2001 or even to areas that we've not seen since 1980. Uh, this is the strength of the dollar as compared to all other world fiat currencies. And the dollar is holding very strong against the other fiat currencies of the world. Even though here we can feel that our dollar is suffering, the other currencies of the world are suffering a lot more than our dollar, which will just add to strength over time. And historically, as the dollar goes up, Bitcoin does suffer and Bitcoin prices fall. So that is more confidence that we're looking for a crypto winner to come. So one final area that we're going to look at for confidence is the NASDAQ 100, 
which is following mostly tech stocks, which, as we know, Wall Street has kind of grouped Bitcoin into a tech stock and treats it as such and trades it as such. Now, it does look like it's trying to get a bounce here on the daily. Got signs that it will bounce and point up. However, until I see some green on this Ichimoku indicator, it gives me no confidence that it will break out of this pattern. I also see that our RSI is coming up a little here, and we also are showing a little bit of divergence forming there. So we have not yet broken back into this channel. What it's doing now is retesting. So we could get rejected off of this and go down further, which would be horrible for tech stocks and for Bitcoin, or we could get back into this channel and get a little bit of a relief rally. But so for a lot of you guys are very curious about the altcoins that you're holding right now, training. I'll be very cautious about holding these altcoins because if we are in a bear market, this is just only fair to warn you that you could look at losing them an additional 50 to 80 percent of the value of those altcoins over this next year to year and a half. The smart thing to do would to be on a cash heavy position and then as we do drop into the bear market, kind of dollar cost average in or wait for some really big drops in Bitcoin because they will be coming. Now, if you're wondering what a possible crypto winner could look like for Bitcoin and crypto, uh, I got the BLX. That's the Brave New Corn Liquid Index. That's one of the longest standing running Bitcoin charts on the market today. So for any of you guys interested, I do have some dates that we've mapped out here using my technical analysis that kind of points to some dates that we need to pay attention to where there may be some large moves. Uh, one of them, May 30th and June 2nd, also got toward the end of August. This one, which technically should be the end of the bull market, if going by the days and how long that the bull markets could be marking the end of the bear market, as this is 1,400 days in from the top, which is normally about the time the bear market is over and we start making a move up. Something to keep in mind here. So November, December, Later this year, might have a turnaround if things go south over the next couple of months. Now, the targets we're looking at, I am also coming up with around the $10,000 area, like a lot of other people are, from various different ways, taking measured moves and also doing some Fibonacci retracements. Two areas that we do want to look at is 23371 That would more likely be a more of a short-term target. So right in here, the 618, just right under 11000 in that area. That's conflict also with the measure move that we can take up here and several other places we seem to be pointing toward that $10,000 area. We'll probably go a little bit sideways and then take a kind of a bigger dump trade sideways for a long, long time and then gradually start making our way up. Very similar to what it did back over here. And when we do get in these areas right here, Great time to pick up altcoins, great time to pick up Bitcoin, Ethereum, major projects that you research and believe in. A lot of layer one protocols would be a good choice. DeFi plays may be a good choice. We've never been through a bear market with DeFi because it's relatively new, or at least we've not been through DeFi as we know it today. But these are some good accumulation areas. Should we drop down? Should we visit another crypto winner? Now, crypto winners suck. Because you're just watching your money dwindle in whatever investments you had in there. But by dollar cost averaging and getting into those good projects at the very bottoms when no one's talking about them and no one wants them, that is where you're going to make the biggest gains when we do start entering into the next bull cycle. And this is where millionaires are made, and I am ready to just gobble these things up the next cycle. So it's sad if we do have a crypto bear market coming. It's sad to see that. But it's also a good thing and a very awesome opportunity. So for anyone who missed out on it and all the millions that were made in 2020 and 2021, we got another chance coming. And we just got to make sure that we get positioned as well as possible. So just to reiterate, it all hinges on Bitcoin. We're just going to have to see what it does. I am expecting a retest of around 35000 And if it cannot hold that level, this red Ichimoku cloud is going to win out. And we will see these prices drop. So it all depends on this area right here, guys.
That's what we're looking for. And guys, we are a brand new channel here on YouTube. If you do like the free crypto information that we provide, the free charting, the free instruction, please hit the like and subscribe button so that we can be encouraged to make more video content and also to help the channel grow. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, I'm Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, signing out. Be blessed, be positive.